who I'm not. I don't know who I am. I don't know. I'm just me. That's <laughs> such a weird question. <laughs> How about next? A person, a rapper, um, not a chef. I was kind of like a mommy's girl. Um, I'm doing it. How you raise your dad? I don't know. As a child, it was just like, I was just doing me. Like, I was very like, watch TV all day. I wouldn't go outside. I wouldn't talk to children. That's why I think I'm so loud as an adult. Yeah, my mother had me really young. And like, I have childhood memories of like going to work. Because my mother used to work at Dunkin' Donuts. She was like the manager. And literally like cleaning up and getting tipped. To carry, right? <laughs> I want black media coverage. Like, low-key, I want to be on 106 and Park. I want to branch out into different aspects of media. I want to do so much. And I just want to just keep getting better. Very cliche. Like, I'm a very open person. I'm a very nurturing person, a very funny person. But not a lot of people can say they really, like, know me. So that's one thing I would want to work on. But it has its ups and downs, you know? I don't. I can't really speak on self acceptance too much because it's like I'm so ratchet and banshee. Like I used to watch PBS when I was little, and like I knew what gay was when I was in kindergarten. Like I came out in the third grade. All I could say on self acceptance is you have to realize that you only have one life, and you have to live that life for you. A lot of the things that you're dealing with, as far as like your family and your friends and acceptance, kind of just becomes like bullshit. So just do you, like do you, <laughs> and drink Evan Williams. Like. That makes everything better. Can I get that sponsorship? Six, first of all, 16 year old Richard was a fucking carry. Like, I wasn't wild, but like the shit I would do then was just like, I, I, I have no filter, but I really had no filter at 16. And it's just like, I was just like discovering like the gay scene and I was just raging. I think I would tell myself, my 16 year old self, slow down. <laughs> Definitely. Slow down, girl. <laughs> and I don't think a lot of 16 year olds can appreciate that. But. Oh my God, my first performance was a carry. It was a house party. I knew I needed to do one show just so I could start doing other shows. So that why that show was so important to me. But it was just like a walk in the park for me. And I was drunk as fuck. So yeah. I'm working on an album right now, which is a fucking headache. And I'm also working on an EP. I don't know, just becoming a better, a better cake, if that makes sense. The different songs have different messages, but the overall theme would just be having fun and just enjoying a beat and just enjoying like a flow is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, sometimes you just want to talk about a blowjob here and there. Like, it's just, this is what life is about. The most discrimination I get being like an underground performer is the fact that it's like, you're not a mainstream artist, so you're not always going to get like, the car service that you want, or you're not always gonna get the bottle service, and you're not always gonna get the plus five at the guest list. You deal with it by realizing that the more work you put into your craft, the more blessings you'll get. Basically, as an artist, you have to be mindful of what you say, because words actually do hold weight. As long as you're being mindful of what you're saying and how it's being perceived, you're good. People people really don't like the word cunt, though. That's the word I use a lot that I get in trouble. I don't think it's a bad word either. Like, I call myself cunt. Like, I'm actually really cunt and really pussy when you really get into, like, my full status. <laughs> so I'm literally the artist that I come to the venue, I change my clothes, and I'm on the dance floor carrying. Like, because a lot of people can listen to a project cover to cover and feel like they know who you are, but it's like, I'm so much more than my project, you know? So, um, bitch, if this is what you want to do, you better do it, and you better not play. And also, don't get so caught up in the URL domain world, because honestly, if you really want to connect dots and you really want to like do what you have to do, you actually have to grind in real life. A lot of people think like, it's all about like Twitter numbers and it's all about how many SoundCloud downloads you get, but it's like, if you're not touring and you're not putting the work in, that shit doesn't matter. Like, SoundCloud could fucking go blow up today. It was the time of my life when I did a year of fucking shows all around this neighborhood in New York and all that. And I didn't get paid. I didn't get paid and I didn't get fucking bottle service. So I think that's what I would tell the new generation. Because a lot of people coming up, they just think that if they just pop off on SoundCloud, like, they're going to get a deal. And it's like, that works for some people, but that does not work for the majority of the people. And there's a lot of people who want to be artists. But we are not cut like that, like... <laughs> I would want people to feel like that I was genuine with everything that I did and that I was pure of heart with everything even when I did make mistakes. Um, and I would just want people to know that 
it is okay to be yourself and it is okay to not fit the stereotype or fit the the molds of what logo is telling you what a gay man is or what BET is telling you what a gay man is. Like you can be yourself and still be successful in a sense. Like I mean, I'm not living in the most lavish of fucking places, but bitch, I'm living, you know? So I think that that's what I want to be. I'm still just 23, you know? 16 on some days, but tonight I'm 23. I think a lot of people think I'm a nympho, maniac, because I talk about sex a lot. Like a lot of people treat me like that girl from Black Snake Moan. Like they think I just always need dick. And it's like, I get it, but it's just like, I don't get it. I'm very like m modest when it comes to the rage as far as like sexuality, because I actually know about STDs. I don't know if people think I'm just like, you know, like, I'm not reserved in interviews. I'm not, granted there's some things I don't talk about because that's not everybody's business. I feel like if there's anything that they want to know that they haven't learned about, they may learn about on future projects. So yeah, very white woman with that. Like, I guess like, the media isn't so shady in my perfect world. And no one gives a fuck. Like, if everyone was just chill, like if everyone just took a chill pill on a lot of things, everything would be okay. So everyone just needs to chill out. Like, eat some turkey bacon, take a walk, and just relax. Having my mother and my brother see me perform for the first time, that's gonna be the gag. To have the whole family in the mix, they're gonna gag. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, let me not jinx myself, but I think it's gonna be really cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Just having my family there to see me perform.